Hi everyone, this is Shamin. I'm the founder and chief digital marketing officer at Sky Digital Agency. And in today's video, I'd like to share with you more about Milchin. One of the things about email marketing is that you have to think about how you can generate email leads for your business. When you want to generate email leads, uh, there are many ways to do it. On the MailChimp platform, they actually have two very simple and quick ways for you to generate your email leads. And um, I'm going to show you one of the quickest ways to do and if you go to our website, you would actually see uh, something that pops up and uh, it will ask you whether or not you would like have a ebook download or maybe you would want to put in your email in exchange for a training. So either a uh, SEO training, Google Analytics training or Instagram training. These are currently offers that we have on our website and how you can quickly create these pop-ups is through going to this uh, tab called audience within MailChimp. So either you create a free account within MailChimp or you can actually log into your existing MailChimp account. It's free for your first 2,000 email subscribers. And after you are at the uh, audience tab, you want to click on manage audience and go to sign up forms okay so there are two ways to generate uh, email leads with actually three ways you can actually generate email leads with uh, mailchimp two of it two of them you can actually find it here one of them is something that we call form builder you can just click through uh, check it out one of the reasons why i encourage users to use this form builder is that you can do a very simple surveys it's not as dynamic as google forms or survey monkey but it is quite i think it is uh quite good i i would say okay but what you want to do or what i'm going to share with you today is called subscriber pop-up so click on this and uh, you will see the different uh, options that they give you in terms of the design that you can choose. So once you click on subscriber pop-up, they will ask you what kind of design you would like to design. I think I was creating this uh, halfway earlier, but uh, there, are, there are designs that you can choose. Let me try to close this. So let me try and change up the audience to create a new... Uh, pop-up form. Let me try this. Manage audience, sign up form. The only thing about uh, MailChimp is that you have to have a uh, audience to create a pop-up. In the free plan that they give to you right now for MailChimp, you only have an option of one audience. So there's only one pop-up that you can actually create. So as mentioned to you earlier, because I've already, I was testing out a pop-up earlier uh, and that pop-up is only one pop-up. So if you ever want to change it, there's only one offer you can make. So that's one of the key things about MailChimp right now. They recently did this change a few months back. Okay, so this is how it looks like. You can add a, a photo. You can also um, change up the text. Um, what they allow you to do is you can actually um, style this as a... And you can change the... Uh, color of the buttons as well. So if you like it to be pink or orange, uh, you can change it up. Okay, there there is a study that says that if you have a button that is orange, blue, or green, they tend to do better. You can read up on uh, color emotions and decide on a color for your button. These are different settings that you can do. Um, I would say that for display settings, usually I wait a little bit at least uh, 20 seconds or after they scroll to the middle or bottom of the page depending on how long your page is for our page is really quite long so sometimes we do not really want to stop them from reading what they are reading so we tend to wait out to the bottom of the page or something that we call um, let me show this to you so our page is really quite long. If you look at the scroll bar, um, there's really a lot of content. So imagine like you pop up something like halfway through. Ask yourself whether or not it's disruptive. Okay, otherwise uh, for us, because our form 
it's actually at the bottom of the page. So what we do is uh, we actually trigger the pop-up when they scroll to the bottom of the page or upon exit. Upon exit means that before I, my, my cursor goes out of the browser, the pop-up offer will show. Alright, so that is uh, the pop-up offer and I'm going to show you a few of pop-up offers as I did earlier uh, in the video as well. So these are things that you can consider in terms of what you are going to, uh, what is your strategy, what is your lead generation strategy, what you're going to offer in exchange for uh, potential clients, potential audiences, customers who are interested in your products or services. Okay, and I would highly encourage you to think about uh, what lead generation pop up and offers and strategies you can have for your business instead of just asking them to subscribe to your newsletter. I think that has lesser incentive for anyone to subscribe and give you their name and their email. So think about your ebook strategy or think about your video strategy for your business. And once you're done, what you can do is click on view code and copy this script code and send it to your developer to add it into your script tag. This is similar to Google Analytics and Facebook Pixels. So if you are familiar with adding scripts to your website, be it WordPress or HTML, you can actually add this script to your website on your own under the script uh, before the header tag. The key thing to remember is this, you only need to update the code once. So at any point of time, if you change up this uh, pop-up offer, you do not have to update the script again. So the installation of the script is only once. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope uh, this video has been beneficial to you. If you have any questions at all, please remember to comment below. If this video was helpful, do remember to give it a like, a thumbs up, share this with your friend and I look forward to seeing you at our next video and I definitely look forward to seeing you at our workshops.